Good Sunday evening, everybody, from the home office of the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, along with special co-host Marlo the Shorky, who's been helping me out by making certain that her toy pig stays on the floor and stays in a very safe location. So she's going to be helping me out with a few things by keeping things a little bit less noisy. Okay, fine. Go chase the pig. There we go. Okay. You may hear some oinking in the background. That's the pig... Yeah, just like that, you see. Might be might be a little noisy in here for the rest of the newscast. We'll get, let, keep you updated on that as we go along to see who wins this latest battle. We're looking at some partly cloudy skies for tonight. The possibility of, again, maybe some good stargazing in between the cloud cover out across parts of the Mid-South. That, again, is thanks to some moisture coming in from off the Gulf of Mexico and keeping us in the cloud cover helped to keep the temperatures down today. May not help too much in the way of stargazing for later on tonight. It'd be nice to get some clearer skies out out there, but it doesn't look like that's going to be happening anytime soon. So if you have any plans for getting out and taking a look and seeing what's out there, we should be able to see again the possibility of some stars and planets. We'll see what's available in the night sky in just a little bit. A few satellites available. You mind? Thank you. Sorry about that. We're seeing again the possibility of getting at least one or two good shots of some satellites flying overhead and also the possibility of seeing the International Space Station for later on tonight. That'll be rising about 7.20 or so in the western skies and going back toward the northeastern horizon. A decently clear view should be best at this point because it is going to be very close to the horizon around again rising in the west and setting in the north-northeast and fairly bright for tonight. That'll be one of the brightest satellites in the skies for later on this evening. We'll also see the possibility of the uh, Iridium flare taking place at about 8.20 this evening in the southern skies. Again, these are the satellites that brighten slowly and also also work their way on down to the southern skies, getting bright and then fading away just as quickly. So you have to look pretty fast for this to be happening out there across much of the Mid-South for any other satellites out there. The view for the evening hours with the crescent moon, a couple of planets visible, especially Mars and Saturn. Venus visible just about after sunset or so. And then we get into around the area of well on off toward the other horizon, again toward the south and east. You, If you had a telescope and a lot of patience, you might be able to see Pluto. It's out there someplace, but Mars, Venus, and Saturn will be your best bet for anything involving sky watching for later on tonight. This information courtesy of spaceweather.com. If you'd like to see more information about what's in the skies out there, a good website to go to. And Heavens Above was the one that you just saw a little while ago uh, with the satellites out there. So great opportunity to go there. That's Heavens heavens-above.com if you'd like to see more on that. The Orion and meteor shower will be peaking in the course of the next few weeks. You may be able to see some more stray meteors out there, and if you do, again, the possibility to do some amateur astronomy out across parts of the area. So a good opportunity for you to get out with the kids on a clear night and take a look and see if you can see anything out there. Really recommend it. A meteor shower is one of the most fun things you can do, especially with clear nights, good weather, and especially the cooler weather in the Mid-South expected in the course of the next few days and weeks. So as the meteor shower peaks into around the next couple of weeks, should be getting some good viewing conditions there. More information available on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash austinonicwreg, and on twitter.com slash aonic underscore WREG3 as well. Yes, I know you're all having fun down there. Don't forget to tune in for tomorrow morning. You may have noticed that I'm not on the air for tonight. That's Tim Simpson keeping you updated on what's going on with the weather on News Channel 3 this evening. Also, again, I'll be on for News Channel 3's Todd Demers who will be on vacation this week, so I'll be on early tomorrow morning and throughout the rest of the week as well. I think the Shorky is winning the contest at this point. We'll have an update on your complete forecast tomorrow morning, so stay tuned for that. And also at WREG.com slash weather with Tim Simpson tonight at 10, so stay tuned for more on that. And forecast throughout the rest of the week on News Channel 3 Daybreak. For Marlo the Shorky, wrestling with her new toy pig, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the home office of the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. Thanks for joining me for Skyblog 3, looking at Mid-South Astronomy Notes. And remember to keep looking up.